Day eight, we're talking about second homes, where we'd have them and why. Um, what do you think? I don't think I would have a second home. I really like my home in Minneapolis. Um, and I think that most people have a second home because they either, one, don't like parts of where they live, or two, um, found a place that's really magical and they like. And I have not found anything that's very magical that I really want to, you know, that I would spend a large chunk of time. And I don't mind the snow. So <laughs> I wouldn't leave. I also don't think that I would have a second home, like a physical home. Um, I think we're both kind of interested like in permanent, like a permanent yeah. second home, you know. Um, I think it would actually be fun to travel instead. And just be able to like take home with you like with traveling with Marissa and the dogs we also want to try traveling because I have a job where I can kind of work from wherever as long as I have internet service it's kind of location independent um, but we're not power independent. but we're not power independent which is too bad we're gonna try an experiment at some point in time maybe in the spring yeah so it's kind of like an experiment to see how easy or hard or what we would actually need to be gone for like a month and just like travel around. We're researching it right now. We actually have to make plans because that's the hardest thing. Cause you kind of right. get into this routine and then, you know, we do things with, you know, with you know, homeless youth in the city and like all of this sort of stuff. And so we want to make sure that we have this and that it's timed out right. And that we can just go because I think it's the first time that's the scariest. Mm -hmm. And like, if we can make it and figure out it's fine and we're not breaking the bank and mm -hmm. You know, we can still work and get things done and experience things. Well, then I think we will be much more likely to go then again in... Right. And, per and for perhaps longer. But it's nice that we have, like, kind of a set deadline. I don't know. Do any of you live in... Where was that? Indiana? Or... Where? Where? The, the underground zip lining. Oh, yeah. Underground zip lining sounds sweet. But we passed it and we're like, that's we're like, hey. sweet. And then on but the way back, we're like... Well, you see billboards for miles away and they're like indoor largest indoor zip lining in the world yeah. or something like that and i think it was in indiana and we're like that would be awesome but we had to get to where indoor it's like underground underground it's not underground. indoor yeah underground in so, the caves in caves or something we would know if we were vagabonding <laughs> if you ever go to wisconsin you can go to a place called the house on the rock and it's the craziest <laughs> place you've ever been to look it up he's never I'll, been I'll there below that is one place that i'd be like okay we're gonna start our trip at the house on the rock let's go also, if you have random places like the House on the Rock that's near you, you should leave them in the comments because we'll take a look at them and maybe try and hit it up when we. Oh yeah, if you have around. if you have cool stuff that you're like not it's not a, you know on the beaten path that yeah. everyone's at or even if a lot of people are at it, we would like to know because that means international too because this isn't just we plan. Yeah, it we're in starting in the United States, but we would like we're to travel now, um, abroad. Anyhow, yeah. So um, that is our plan, and so that's a, that maybe was... we will end up ha finding a place we love, and we're like, we're gonna buy a home here. But the more likely scenario is that um, we won't find a place we want to be permanently because there are so many wonderful places. And if we do find a place, it will probably be like us dragging along like a tiny home behind our van. And parking on a piece of land. <laughs> <laughs> that was Vita to 8. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Peace out.